Everybody, we are State Out Productions. Okay. <laughs> and today we're here with the beautiful Ken the Man. How are you? Good. Thanks for having me, guys. We are glad to have you. Thank you for meeting with us. So, Ken the Man, why why that name? Well, because I'm a thug a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. It was um, no Ken available on SoundCloud because my original name is Ken, okay. my nickname. So I just, I'm kind of like, you know, I be thinking I'm that nigga, you know. So I was just <laughs> like, <laughs> let me just, you know, spice up a little bit. It wasn't going to yeah. be my name originally, but my friends told me you know that shit hard you know people gonna love that shit and I, it had to grow on me but now i love that shit and it makes yeah. sense like i be feeling like you know i be body and niggas yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i can totally understand it they do say that houston girls have some little, little rough edge on them. little rough <laughs> love tough okay so about the leaving from your socials what's that about because that shit is distracting you know i'll be having to take a break because I scroll a lot I like be writing and then I not be able to think of something and instead of me like forcing myself to think mm -hmm. I go get on Instagram or something and it ain't nothing on there <laughs> people just stress me the fuck out <laughs> so I was like I just need to like focus and get my album done simply because everybody waiting on it home yeah. and I always get distracted so I just have to you know cut, cut that shit down I still be on that all. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I just don't be like it's trying hard. to interact, but I be wanting to post it so bad. It's hard. You but got I, a phone in your hand. You know what I'm saying? Insta-story, though. You yeah, know, see, I be Insta-story, I was like, see, I feel like that ain't the same, but all my friends was like, bitch, why ain't you watching my <laughs> story? I was like, girl, I'm, I'm not really on here. I'm just, you know, I'm, here, I'm not, not here. I'm here, but I'm not here. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I was gonna ask, is it, was it because you're working on your album, but how long have you been working with, on it? This shit been in the making for like a year and a half. Really? Yeah. I'm real picky and I just want to get it right because it's different. It's not just all like hard rapping. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to find a balance between like what I got and then like some hard raps because you know you can't never not rap hard because people be thinking oh, she don't go hard no more. So it's like I be having to. I'm trying to like make music music that's not just bar after for bar, you know. But people. Some people, you know, like, like the bar for bar. Some people be wanting that simp shit. Mm -hmm. Not really simp. I feel like I got gangster yeah. simp music. Like, I ain't no, it don't really be soft. It be kind of like, In between. yeah, so I got to like, get, I want that club shit. So mm -hmm. I've been trying to get my club shit. Like right? nighttime club or strip time? Like, strip you know, and break. night, but <laughs> naked, getting <laughs> dressed club, like, any yeah, all of that. Yeah. Like, popping pussy, like all of that <laughs> shit. Okay. Well, if you can't help going bar for bar, then do one. See, that's what I be thinking, but it's just like, I don't know. I be trying to like, people so simple nowadays. Everything is a little more simple, so I try not to rap too much because I be feeling like I say a lot, you know, and I feel like sometimes that's cool, but I be wanting to chill sometimes. Like, bitch, yeah, chill. Like, you know, yeah, I just turn it down. You know? Yeah, so that's the process. It's been like a year and a half, but. That shit finna be done. Like, I got some good shit coming. So. A year and a half. So, you would just say why it took so long is just because your your mind has really just been on different stuff? Yeah, I don't really have, a, like, everything on that whole sound different. So, it's like I'm trying to find, piece that motherfucker together now because everything is so, I don't know. I don't really rap. I rap a certain type of way. I feel like my voice is a certain way, but mm -hmm. I don't really have a genre that I can't really, like, yeah. get on, you know? Like so. Mm -hmm. I be on everything. I be all over the place. My mind be country. I was on some country <laughs> shit the other day. I was like, what the fuck am I doing? Rock. I be on that rock shit. So I, I'm trying to keep it like, you know, people don't like new shit. You know, people don't like stuff that they're not comfortable with. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of hard to mix my mind with like the, the common mind. Yeah. yeah, yeah so. But what are you comfortable with? doing whatever i want to do <laughs> like just doing me i hate pressure everybody be like you know drop this and do that you need to do that but i'm really like the type to work at my own pace mm -hmm. because i feel like 
that's how you make the best shit, you know, is when you do, you do it at your speed. You know, when you comfortable, because I don't always want to write, you know, it's like, I like watching movies and shit. Like, that's <laughs> like, I like chilling. So it's like hard for me to find that balance between forcing myself to write and just letting it come. Cause my best shit be when I just be just like on the toilet or something, like dumb shit, like. <laughs> yeah, it's just dumb. Sitting in the closet. Up. So. And this will be your first album. Yep. Can we first. get like a sneak peek of the name? Oh, yeah, you can get the full name, girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful fucking day. What a beautiful fucking day. I'm not going to say What a beautiful ending <laughs> day. I can't curse on him? No, you can curse. Oh, but y'all got to be professional. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to ask. I was like, I curse a lot. How did you come up with that name? What? Oh, they would a beautiful fucking day. Mm-hmm. I was like, Candy Man, see you was where was you at when I was just telling you that whole spill? Um, I was I was sad. I be I be getting sad and like sometimes I get a little like emotional about my music because I'm a fucking Gemini, so I'm just moody anyway, a bitch be tripping. <laughs> so I was late I was this in one of my sad days and I was sitting on the trampoline in my backyard and I was just looking at the sky. And I was like, damn, it's a beautiful fucking day out here. So I had cut, snapped the sky and said, what a beautiful fucking day. And then I noticed myself like saying it a few times and I was just like, boom, it's perfect because it's like no matter what you feeling, it's always going to be a beautiful fucking day. So you know, I feel like I make feel good music as far as like no matter how you feeling, like my music don't be too fucked up about it. They be like, yeah, I'm fucked up, but I ain't too fucked up. Like, you know, so. That's where it came from, like just kind of like letting the shit flow, and always remembering that it's gonna be better days. Mm-hmm. A beautiful fucking day, and I'm ghetto, <laughs> so I had to cuss. They was like, I don't think we could sell that. I was like, I could sell it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that shit, nigga. That's my title. I'm sticking with it. I almost changed it, but I got a lot of shit coming, so I might as well just. I got I got a list of fucking album names. <laughs> I'm ahead of the head of the game. That's crazy because a lot of people. Man, I got so Thinking many fire. Go. I'm ready. I'm gonna drop three song albums just to put the damn title <laughs> back. Yeah. Okay. Now on those down days, do you still push yourself to make music, or is it kind of like a when you, whenever you're in the mood? See, whenever I'm in the mood, which is a problem because, like I said, I like chilling a lot. Like I don't force myself to do anything. So I feel like the. I feel like once again, I just, I just, I just need to force myself. I feel like, but because it sounds whack, like to say, yeah, I just do music when I feel like it. Because it's not literally like, oh, I never feel like it. It's just sometimes, bitch can't think, you know. Like my mind, I need inspiration sometimes, and like I just, I don't go out much. I really don't like the scene, so I'm not like the type of rapper that get so much experience like in the clubs and seeing what's going on because like i said i be trying to take myself away from instagram i try to keep myself because that shit is fucking poison i don't really like i'm really protective over my spirit and my energy so it's kind of like i don't like being in certain places so i can't really grab and i don't really have friends either because i'm kind of picky about my space you know so that's where it's at with that now is that a challenge being a female in the industry yeah it has its ups and downs because it's like i can kind of get around a little better i feel like the males can in the position that i'm in you know because it's like you know i'm still up and coming like tough so it's easier because niggas be like the one to just talk but they like i can kind of finesse some shit but it's kind of hard because like they want me to kind of dick ride i feel like for the attention and I'm just not I, like I said it's not that I don't I'm not not friendly I'm just not out there you know and people think they take it as me being kind of like cocky on some shit just cause yeah. my music cocky and I just like y'all if y'all knew me you know what I'm saying y'all but I'm not finna just come out here as soon as you try to like talk to people I got shut down by so many motherfuckers like when I tried to be nice like a speak so people don't fucking speak that shit girl, I, I don't play so it's kind of like I try to keep my sanity you know the bitches kind of snap so I just kind of stay out the way because motherfuckers ain't right especially me being a female and I don't I manage myself like you know like I'm my own shit my own so it's real people think 
they don't try to contribute. They try to like control, you know. And I don't. I, I like what you're doing, but if you, you, you know, it, and you it's do this. yeah, <laughs> which is would be cool if it made sense. But yeah. everybody think they got the answers, and mm-hmm. I'll be like, nigga, we on the same level. How you got the answers? Yeah. You know, so I just be trying to figure out what's best for me because nobody ever know what's best for you. You got to always do kind of, don't just co- be closed off. That's not what I'm saying, but always follow you because people going to like you. You the star, you know, like you can't really be listening to these motherfuckers because they always want to say, oh yeah, I told her to do that. Yeah, I, I, it was my, it was me. Nah, bitch, it was me. That's why. <laughs> okay, it's me. me. I like saying that shit, but. You know, I was telling my friend, I be elaborating a little too much sometimes, but this is a good one. I was telling my friends, it's so fucking weird that instead of niggas, like, appreciating a bitch not wanting a handout, mm-hmm. they kind of say, you need this and you need that instead of be- admiring a bitch doing her thing by herself. And I was yeah. like, shit is weird that y'all, you know, a bitch ain't asking for nothing and y'all got a problem with that. But if a bitch was asking for something, yeah, she be, you know, it's just kind of, it's fucked up. This, this shit fucked up, but... They yeah. Hey, I thought you had it. I see what type you is. Yeah, but <laughs> and then people do like, shit on their time too. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's like I need it all done on. That's why I do it myself. Cause you gonna get it done for you. Yeah. Motherfuckers do shit when they want to. Make sure you get done. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you say it all takes to be a female rapper in the, in today's society? Well. You don't necessarily have to just do society because I know that's a lot, but let's industry. say in the Houston scene or yeah, like the industry. I feel like nowadays you don't even have to do much because this be like some shit that be popping. And I just be like, God damn, what the fuck? Like, how did that get popping? But I mean, it's just, I just feel like be yourself do kind of what you want to do of course you know have you know mentors and because you don't know it all you not your strong suit is not everything you know so it's like i get advice but it's just take advice the way you want to take it don't try to take you know it, you always got yeah you always got to break shit down in a way that you can understand you know you, you understand it. yeah rather than what they just telling you 100 percent. it's kind of like whatever i feel like people were saying still do it your way mm-hmm. in a way because that's what people gonna fuck with yeah. people fuck with fuck shit all the time too though <laughs> but just if you a real nigga you gonna fuck with some real shit so just stay real and i mean i feel like it takes like a certain type of i don't know man i can't i ain't even got my shit together i can't even say what it take you know i'm still trying to figure me out so mm-hmm. just figure y'all out like do you get support from other female rappers um, I get support from like a few. I feel like I get more support from males and like female supporters, but not really rappers. I think they think I'm cocky though. But that's they fault because they don't even know a bitch. <laughs> so it is. Have any of them? Have you reached out to any other female? I rappers? reached out to like two, and they had me fucked up. Oh, and I ain't gonna even say it. Just fuck them. They know they got me fucked up. But I just, I reached out to them and they kind of didn't give me a, a response and on some shit. One of them followed me when I reached out. I was like, oh, you hoes, is crazy. <laughs> so. You yeah, on music? Yeah, on music. some music, like trying to collab. Like, I want to work with some bitches. I feel like yeah. that shit's sexy, you know? Like, two bad bitches rapping good. Like, I like that type of shit, but yeah. bitches don't, I don't know. So I just, but I fuck with, I fuck with some though. You know, it's definitely been some to reach out and. Is. Who are those? Huh? Who are the songs? Uh, Libra Jolie. <laughs> okay. Um, who else? I mean, Bloodbath, not really no female rapper. Yeah. <laughs> She's like a nigga. So, so I fucks with Bloodbath. Me and Bloodbath were cool. Uh, who else reached out as a female? Um, Tay K Barbie. I don't know if y'all know her. TK Barbie. I don't know. She hate me when I say Tay K. But fuck, I be thinking about the race. I <laughs> think. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, I don't want to miss nobody, but that's the main ones that I fuck with. You know, they fuck with me, and I know it's like genuine. Yeah. You know. Should we be on the lookout for them on your album? Uh, I don't know. I ain't telling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't telling. I want everything on the album to be a surprise. Like on the track list, I don't even think I'm gonna put. I don't even know if I'm gonna do features, but I got some shit though that's that's gonna be live with one of them. One of them. Yeah, well, that shit gonna be live. So that's coming soon too. And 
Yeah, me and Bloodbath did a song so fucking long ago. I'm waiting on that motherfucker to drop the shit. <laughs> she be always talking about, we gonna shoot the video. When, bitch? When is we gonna shoot the video? So, yeah. that So, me and Blood, we should be doing something soon. I, I asked her when I seen her, we had a show together. I was like, you gonna give me a hook? Can I get a hook? Can they nigga get a hook or something? Like, damn. You cold. So, yeah. That's it on the female rapper tip. I love female rappers. They just don't really fuck with me. That's okay. How do you think you have? Do you Girl, think it's because weird. like you're not a, a more in the mix person? I feel like I don't really see female rappers just in the mix either. Like I don't never just see them like in the mix unless they doing big shit. You yeah. know, like they ain't that. Like I don't run into no female rappers in the club when I do go or run into them at wherever I be. So. I don't know. I be saying it all the time, though. Like, you know, bitch, link up. Like, I be tweet. I don't tweet her. I tweet a lot. So, I be saying, like, you know, bitch, like, what the fuck? Like, we can link up. What's, like, what's the problem? Is it me? Y'all think a bitch cocky? I try to make it known because I know, like, niggas meet me and be like, I thought you was a bitch. And I be like, that's what you fucking get for assuming. Like, I kind of am a bitch, but I ain't a bitch. Everybody a bitch, you know? Like, we wake up sometimes, ain't in the mood. Like, why I got to be happy every time you see me? A bitch probably having a bad day. Uh, damn, a bitch can't even have an emotion when you're in this rap shit. A bitch can't have a bad day. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, she's a bitch forever. Mm -hmm. I just don't be in the mood sometimes. Like, shit. Like, wake up on the wrong side sometimes. I'm not happy with myself sometimes. Bitch probably feeling ugly. Makeup probably uneven. Eyebrow thick, one thin. Like, and then you think I got an attitude. But bitch, I just feel ugly. I don't want to take no picture. You know, like. That's how I do. You get a lot of fan love, though? Yeah. Uh-huh. I get a lot of, yeah. They be, I be happy. I be like, me? The little old me? I just feel like I'm just so Look. normal. Because I'm so normal to myself. Like, I'm not shit to me like I'm, i know i can rap but i just was like bitch you is you i be looking at myself like bitch people love you <laughs> somebody came up to me in cheddars uh, i was with my son uh, we was walking out and she came out the door my husband was like oh my god mommy she know your music <laughs> i was like yeah that was that was live and she was like i know you too to my son he was like you know me <laughs> me too so yeah that was cool it's always surprising because like i said i just think i'm normal though me but i know i can wrap my motherfucking ass off <laughs> i just feel like i'm normal not how often do things like that happen i don't really go out that much so i mean i was busted the fuck up see i had to fix myself because i got into walmart you know i say that corner store that's the one that just see you tow up the most <laughs> i was in walmart by my house one day somebody i feel so bad because he wanted a picture but i was like you see me like you know we not gonna take no picture i said catch me next time like we gonna have to but it, it happens like a cool amount of time i feel like it's crazy how so many people don't know me and i be thinking i'm doing something you know and they be like damn so many people don't know you so i feel like i got a lot of work to do but it's gonna come around i'm a real in the process type of bitch you know i just be like it'll come i'm patient i'm real patient patience is the key that's really good that you do have patience mm -hmm. but you've been viral a couple of times really one more than a couple yeah but do you feel like that's how how you got in your buzz definitely when i dropped my first single i didn't even know my daddy told me to drop that hoe i didn't know that hoe was gonna go viral. man it's gonna be the female anthem i was like nigga no it's not he was like yes them ladies gonna love that shit. he said the ladies everybody like that whole went and i was like wow that shit crazy that he said it it's crazy that i don't even be thinking the stuff that the stuff that i like people well not don't like but i don't think that the stuff that go is gonna be the one that go my yeah. friends usually tell me drop that shit like bitch we you don't you not allowed to hold your music no more that's what they told me it's like bitch just send everything to us and we gonna figure it out because bitch you be tripping so i never know but it just that's definitely that's my goal. I feel like, you you know how people, I don't want to be signed, you know? I kind of want my own label type shit. Like, I just want to be a female that's really a boss, you know? I, don't, I hear a lot of people saying they boss, but I really want to be boss, you know? So, I don't really like, believe, people don't really, I feel like, believe that a bitch can do it, but social media is so powerful. I feel like, like, 
you can probably not sign me or tell somebody something, you know, blah, 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 but you can't stop my supporters from supporting my music, yeah. you know? So that's yeah, what I feel like. The way it is, like, his bitch, just keep going viral. That's, you want to be famous, bitch? You want to be rich? Just keep going viral. I have a question. Mm -hmm. What was in that trash bag? <laughs> Clothes and towels. Oh, you was dragging that like you was a real body. You know? But that hoe was so light. I was had I was like, bitch, I gotta get my act on. That she was buying two feathers in that bitch. I was like, bitch, I got a fake fall. But I wanna act, so I had to go about act. I put a little weight in there. The weight tore the damn head. I had made that hoe. I was looking at it. I made I be making all my little props and shit. I looked at some YouTube and stuffed that bitch with some tiles, newspaper, and old clothes. Yeah, went on, mate. And then bought some little blood from Party City. And that was that. Ties and rope. I was like, Daddy, you got some rope. <laughs> like, us in the garage. We got the rope. Now, the message behind your music, um, how did you feel about the music? Um, are you speaking from experience or is it more of like the storyline that you've kind of gotten out your head? Um, I've been single for a long time and I make a lot of music that sound like I've just been hurt, you know, but I've been single for about five years. <laughs> So I know it's like, I felt that before, but also like I kind of live through my friends, like what they tell me and you know, like through what I see on social media a little bit, like how what bitches be going through. And I just put that shit together. Like I didn't even know a bitch could story tell, but that shit started making sense. I was like, a bitch, you're storytelling now. What more do you got up your sleeve, bitch? Yeah, it's a little hot up in here. You was fanning it back now. <laughs> do you think that like the more storyteller type artists are the, the best you know music makers my favorite artists are storytellers you know eminem tupac and like um wayne is just a picture painter like i feel like he's just awesome so i mean i feel like a lot of people that don't do it a certain way are like overlooked mm -hmm. but i feel like yeah if you hopping and you a storyteller like them you know mm -hmm. i feel like yeah that's shit people fuck with that but yeah. i feel like people don't really not really into certain type of music i feel like mm -hmm. i kind of i accept the new music you know like the stuff that i barely can understand yeah. bitch still be getting dressed oh, yeah wow. bitch what the fuck is he talking about this whole go hard <laughs> but it's like people don't accept like when lil wayne come out or something it's just like they be sleeping on my nigga i be hurt because so i be like damn y'all just gonna you know, just let all the bars just go the way so I have to listen to them shit but I think it's overlooked but that's why I try to do a little bit of everything you know I try to story tell then I try to talk about like little love shit then I try to do bars then I try to do this and like try to be sexy at the same time not too much because I'm really not even that freaky people be thinking a bitch freaky I be like I barely say pussy lines I say them hoes like once every song twice probably because when I can't think of that I just go to a pussy line <laughs> like it always works bitch love that shit so that's that's I am dead <laughs> I'm just gonna ask you this question because you know you said you I don't even like taking pictures. You know what I'm saying? I don't like taking. That's why I don't take that many pictures. My photographer make me have photo shoots. She literally bought me some clothes today and said, "Bitch, let's go to the mall. I'm buying some clothes. We finna shoot." <laughs> because I don't really care for that. Like I ain't ever cared to be famous. You know what I'm saying? I just like rapping. And that's why I be like, damn, these niggas really making it hard for a bitch that didn't even ask for this gift. You know? Like I just had my voice and decided that. It was I was passionate about it and you know decided to use this motherfucker and you know that ain't my fault shit I didn't ask niggas be hating on me and shit I be like you hate on me bitch hate yourself it ain't God he didn't give you the gift bitch he gave it to me I'm sorry dudes be beefing with me rappers <laughs> like or just Do, blog niggas rap Ooh. niggas pussy niggas <laughs> broke niggas rich niggas oh you want to drop on that Oh, you know what? Nah, I don't even do that. Okay. You see, I don't even do that simply because they gonna think that a bitch is bitter about it. I don't give a fuck. You know, people think because you say something that you care. It's not that I care. I'm just stating the fucking obvious. You niggas really hate me for some reason. I, I think they hate me because I don't dick ride. But it's not that I'm intentionally not dick riding. I'm just not a really social person. I only talk in like intimate scenarios, you know. They just gonna have to deal with it because I'm not changing. Yeah. 
I don't even go to the club, so how the fuck do they expect me to just be making the club music every time, too? Like, I be like, damn, niggas be saying you always rapping about niggas, but niggas always rapping about chains and cars, but I can't rap about niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what the fuck is going on in this shit, that's what the bitches experiencing, all of us. So it's crazy, because some dudes, they'll say that they don't really just like to hear all that, mm -hmm. the, the, the coochie lines. Stuff, yeah. But then it's like, okay, well, we. What else the it, fuck is it, we finna talk about? Yeah, it's different because most girls. I'm not. Gonna, yeah, I'm just saying most, but not everybody. Mm -hmm. know. they like to hear that type of stuff in the songs. Like it's like crazy. Them they'll be like the favorite part out the whole song. Like yeah. yeah. Did, did, oh my. Mm, mm, mm. It's like <laughs> that. No, it is not okay though. Yeah, they always trying to criticize me, but I guess I'm doing something right. They like talking so. I mean, I'm not going to stop talking about what the fuck I talk about. That's all the fuck I know to talk about. So, it's kind of like, if you going to send me a script or something and I can study and talk about something else, do that. But at least, I don't know. They, they, I don't know. They don't like me. Some of them like me, you know, don't get me wrong. Like, a lot of them show me love, guys and stuff. But a lot of them be kind of like, well, less of them. You know, it ain't. It's always more love than a little hate but the hate be like hurting words for some reason they be like damn why me I ain't even said that to you a nigga created a beef with me and I ain't never said two words with him telling people that I don't fuck with him and he don't, I mean he don't fuck with me like he won't post me because I don't fuck he don't fuck with me and it's like ah damn I never even spoke to you somebody like girl you must have broke his heart back in your, your past life <laughs> so, I don't know what happened with him but you said that they you you think they expect you to dick ride do yeah. you think um girls well you know female artists that you know do lean towards sex appeal do you feel like that helps them come up in the game i mean i feel like that's what people say but i just feel like it's, you don't have to you i don't think you i mean i feel like that's what it look like the ratio of bitches that's being sexy and bitches that's like hoodies and joggers yeah. you could tell like they got like selling you know more. selling more mm -hmm. and like because bitches like looking at bad bitches and niggas mm -hmm. like looking at yeah, so it's just like <laughs> you gonna win with that i don't see not like looking at that ass too bitch twerk it for me bitch yeah. i'm trying to see something so it's, it's i think it's cool you know i think they can do whatever they want you know i be sexy sometimes mm -hmm. sometimes i just be like a boy sometimes i don't know i just do whatever so it's like I can't really I don't really judge how other people get their shit Cause that's just yeah. how they They work for them you know So yeah be sexy or be hoodie I don't know <laughs> what, what do you feel Will get you successful In a rap industry Probably sexy Cause that's what you see like if you think about Look him, Nicki, Cardi B they all sexy mm -hmm. um, Would you lean towards that I mean I don't mind being sexy yeah. You know that's why I've been <laughs> in the gym Cause you hoes got me Fucked up, bitch. <laughs> Chop it up. What? Two pieces. But when it coming up, I'm still be sexy, bitch. I'm gonna be sick as a dog trying to be. <laughs> be like, I gotta show this body off. I've been working all summer. All summer. So, I don't know. I feel like it's possible to. I can't name an unsexy bitch though. That's <laughs> like a bitch that I don't really show much. That's just popping. But I don't really know a lot of rappers honestly like I feel like that was more of a back in the day type of thing mm -hmm. when it was more female rappers like MC type young, shit you know, like making a difference not going towards that mm -hmm. lane but you don't see that a lot today <laughs> yeah okay now seeing that you don't want to be signed um would you look at going to any labels or being surprised if any labels reached out to you I mean, I feel like I'm open for the meetings because I just want to hear what, what I'm worth to, to you. You know, like, I want to know, like, what y'all think. You know, like, how y'all feel it. What I'm on, bitch. You feel like I can get a million right now? You yeah. feel like I can get 500? <laughs> so, that, I just I would go, you know. I'm I'm real open to things because I, I'm, I do a lot of research. So, it's like, I already know if I was to, like, sign a deal, what kind of deal would be. Like, I won't, I'm still going to be the boss. So you can either contribute or I'm just going to get it myself. So um, I would I'd be, I would be excited. I'd tell everybody like, bitch, do you know who called <laughs> me today? Like, you know? 
So mm -hmm. with the female rappers that are signed, and I know you see like a lot of so-called publicity stunts between labels, like robbery labels and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. What's your opinion on female rappers being put against each other, like the higher their career gets? I feel like it's their decision. We all grown. Mm -hmm. I just can't see, I don't know until I get there how yeah. it feels, you know, because I can't say it don't feel like this bitch is really out to get you, mm -hmm. you know, maybe you personally really feel like this bitch is really, you know, sending shots, like, yeah. you could personally feel like that, but I also feel like we grown, so if you didn't know, just hit the bitch, like, if you really, like, I feel like I'm so sad about Cardi B and Nicki, because, bro, they could have made stupid money together, you know, and that's all I'm saying, like, that's why I want to link up with females because that's some stupid money. Like, sex sales, like, not problem. sex, but they sexy. Be, they, you they know? They list celebrities. <laughs> so it's crazy. Acting out. Acting out. I just, like, I get it because you do have person. And everybody yeah. not going to, you know, kind of how they say, you know, the people that you kind of like and looked up to, they, it's not the same when you meet them. So I can see that. You know, everybody, not everybody cup of tea. Yeah. But I feel like it don't have to be a beef. You know, I ain't really a drama type bitch. Like, I don't like having, I don't have problems with people, you know. I don't have, I don't really do that drama type stuff. I kind of just, but if you bring the drama, then we're going to have some drama, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not going to listen to what people saying. Like, oh, you know, people always say some people rap better than me. That ain't mean I, like, people say that, try to, I be feeling like people be trying to say that about, you know, me and Bloodbath, you know, oh, Ken rap better than Bloodbath, Bloodbath rap better than Ken. But that don't make us, like, not like each other and not want to get on a song because, you know, what people say. So that shit. Everybody's a critic. Everybody's a critic. And don't even do rap. So how could you even let them put you against each other? Y'all don't even fucking know how, what goes on behind here. So, yeah. So they come with the fame. How do you think you would endure the fame? When, I don't know. You know, in that position. I don't know. I feel like I'll be leaving from Instagram yeah. a lot. <laughs> like, bitch, I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> don't think I'm out here now, but I gotta get off this shit. Just you gotta. I feel like you would never know. I feel I've read that social media is a depressant. So, um, I'm yeah, I feel like it. Cause I mean, think about it. You waste time on that hoe. You if you're not making money on your social media, you're not getting money while you on that hoe. Like. Mm -hmm. Nine times out of ten, you wasting your time when you could be researching or watching shit or figuring out, studying some rich niggas or some how mm -hmm. to get rich. You on Instagram looking at fake rich niggas. Yeah. <laughs> that shit's discouraging. Like, yeah. damn, this nigga got this. Yeah. I ain't, man, I want yeah. this. And it start making you feel like you ain't in the place, but you just got to, you know, not ignore your process. So, really? Because it ain't no telling what they got. What they through. got. Ain't no telling. What they got or what they, you know, it, everybody think it's easy because nobody supposed to struggle. Yeah. So, um, so we're gonna bring it back to your album. Um, what special features or not special features, but <laughs> special surprises can we expect? Like on the way, how soon can we oh. expect it? See, I'm gonna drop a mixtape in between my EP drop, my album dropping. Mm -hmm. So it, it's gonna be my countdown. I don't know if y'all seen it. Like I'm having mm -hmm. a five four three two one so i'm about to drop my one freestyle and then i'm gonna have some hard copies and some unreleased music on that one and then hopefully like i'm working towards some other project too like i'm trying to get it in before my project drop but it's gonna be november 25th or a little before that's where when it's gonna come out we seen your post looking for the upcoming producers for your album mm -hmm. how many have you worked with so far um, a lot of them hit me up it's so uh, i'm such a picky beat yeah. person like niggas give up and i like it's not it's just not the beat i feel like people overthink my, what i would like and they pass up the shit that i really would like because like i said i don't really have a type I don't have a tight beat that I feel like I lean towards. Yeah. Like, I literally can like anything that sounds good to me that make me kind of catch a vibe. So, I, um, it's nobody probably that y'all would know, but yeah, I want to work with just a bunch of different ones. That way my shit don't sound like one way. You know, got this poppy nigga on here, then got this trap nigga on here, this whatever nigga on here, you know? 
so yeah i'm still looking for more like i just want to make so many songs you know and to pick out of i don't want like oh yeah i got three more songs left so send me three beats you know like i want just keep sending me that shit and i pick it then i can drop some more shit like on the on after or before so if you're a producer trying to be with cool ass bitch <laughs> i can't blink i just blink both of my eyes <laughs> So you were speaking earlier about your letting your friends listen to your music. So are you gonna let them listen for your um, track list on the yeah. album and let them pick like which one should be on there? Uh, yeah, I always let them do that anyway. You do? Yeah, I let them pick because they are the peers. Mm -hmm. You know, people always be like, "Don't listen to your friends; they love you." My friends, honest as fuck, some shit whack. They gonna be like, "Yeah, bitch, that ain't the one." So. I really take pride in my friends because every time they tell me to drop something, that whole go. Like, yeah, you need to drop that bitch and that whole go. Like, every time. So, yeah, they're going to be the ones. I don't want to have a listening party. I want to have an after. Because I feel like my shit a little slow, you know? Like, it's not really turn up, like I said, you know? Niggas want me in the club to network, but I don't even make club music. So, it's kind of like, where the fuck am I going to fit, you know? I don't want to bore people because it's kind of like it's a it's a it's a car vibe i feel like i would call it my ep is a car vibe it's not really a club vibe so if everybody fuck with their hoes i'm gonna have a, a party after i have an after party the <laughs> celebration is a handy for everybody bitch y'all turning this hoe up so yeah but i mean hey i'm not opposed to fast lane if he wants to Bless me with a club banger on it, home. Yeah, 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 that would be hard. I fuck with Fast Nine, hundred percent. So, how close do you see your success? Can't call it. Every day is some crazy shit. Like I got called to do a TV show. Like it was white people. I was like, what the fuck? White people like me? Like, <laughs> like all the white people. You know, they be behind the production. So it's like. You motherfuckers, a lady, she called me. She's like, um, hi, is this um Ken the man? I was like, yeah. She was like, yeah, I found your new freezer video. I was like, new freezer out of all the shit? Like, damn, I'm cold. Like, they calling me. So, yeah, I got, like, two TV opportunities. It's crazy, you know? So, I just don't know when that shit can come in any day. Like, I could drop a video tomorrow, and that shit probably right blow me up, you know? So... Well, this concludes the interview. Did you have any last words or shout-outs? Um, just shout-out to everybody that love me and that support me because it means everything to me and my soul. Every time somebody posts me, it feels great. It made me keep going. So that's the number one thing that I want to shout-out is people that rocking with the fucking man, you know, that's that's... 100 is fuck that's solid because i don't got shit right now so i feel like if you rocking me right now you real in the bitch because you know people like a certain look and like you know a certain you know a certain amount of followers you know and they fucking with me a bitch you, just, you know was, they was fucking with me when i was in the thousands i was like y'all some real niggas because y'all was pumping a bitch up <laughs> like bitch you famous to me bitch people coming up to me i have five thousand followers i was like bitch you like me and i have my five thousand followers so, yeah, shout out to Ed, shout out to fucking shit, everybody, just everybody that fuck with me, that's just as a whole, shout out to y'all for having me, this is a great interview, like, literally, I had the questions, you was on fire, you boom, back door, back door, I was like, look at them, they got they A game on, they question pants on today, so yeah, shout out to y'all selves, and just be great, don't let nobody tell you what the fuck you can't do, bitch, go be a boss. <laughs> It's Ken the motherfucking man and we with Stay Down Productions. Okay. okay.